For us, we're actually getting some sun right now as we look over the West Dodge Expressway from 192nd and Dodge. 73 at the airport. The dew point is 61. Feels a little bit more comfortable out there right now. There are two areas of rain that we're watching. One to our north, one to our south. And yes, it is splitting Omaha, but there's a reason for that. There's a cold front down to our south. That's pulling the rain down toward Falls City, toward Pawnee City, Maryville as well. Maybe a couple more light rain showers could grace Fairbury and Beatrice. And then to the north, there's a little mid-level wave that's coming across parts of South Dakota. So that's keeping a lot of the rain north of Omaha. It's not splitting it because Omaha is special. It's splitting it because two things are pulling it in those directions. So the impact weather is going to be mainly to our north this afternoon. Light rain showers, maybe a brief rumble of thunder. I can't rule out a sprinkle along the I-80 corridor, so I'm keeping just that tiny, tiny chance of a brief rain shower in Omaha, but it's trending drier. Temperatures only reach the upper 70s to around 80. You can see low 70s in Omaha, mid 60s off to our north, but that front pushing a lot of the heat and the humidity down to the south, and the dew points are, keep, are going to keep falling over the next 24 hours. Doesn't feel too bad outside right now. Tomorrow's downright dry, and then we start to feel a little more humidity going into the end of the week. So there are the rain showers north and south this afternoon. Clouds clear out completely later on tonight, and I've been saying it all week. Tomorrow, Wednesday, is going to be fantastic to get outside. Light winds, clear sky, low humidity, and temperatures right around 80. But then once that warm front comes through Wednesday night into Thursday, it'll get more humid, but we still stay relatively dry through Thursday. Friday, though, a cold front's getting pushed a little bit farther south compared to previous forecasts, so I do have the chance for isolated showers, potential impact weather on Friday, and temperatures dropping into the mid-80s. So keep an eye on that, especially if you have a Friday football game. This weekend, though, 90 on Saturday, 92 on Sunday, and that warmth and humidity is going to stick around into the start of the upcoming week.